A problem which I'm sure most flight simmers can relate to is having to drag your mouse around to move your camera. These slow movements by mouse can result in a bit of disorientation, especially while hand flying the aircraft. Virtual reality is a fantastic solution to this problem as looking around becomes as seamless as it would be in real life. And VR also helps you get fully immersed in the flight simulator. And I have to say, until you've given VR a try, it's hard to imagine how immersive it feels. So today we'll be taking a look at the Pimax VR headset, which will significantly improve your flight simulator experience. The Pimax Crystal is the highest resolution consumer VR headset out there, and it's packed with lots of features, which we'll take a look at in this video. But before that, let's quickly check out what you get in the box. So of course, you get the headset itself, which can be adjusted for different head sizes, and has two speakers on the side. It also has an inbuilt microphone, which is actually very good, and probably even better than the microphone I'm using for this video. You also get two batteries, so you can charge one as you're playing, and then just change them when the one you're playing with runs out of battery. Next, you've got two controllers, one for each hand, with a variety of input methods. And lastly, a bunch of cables and things that help you get your VR headset set up. So it's time we finally try out the headset in the simulator. I'll be using X-Plane 12, but this headset works fantastically in a variety of flight simulators such as Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and also many other games too. So we're currently sitting in a Cessna 172 and we're going to start it up quickly and take it out for a little spin, while I tell you about a few things that you should know before buying this headset. So as you might be able to tell, I'm actually using the controllers to flick the switches inside the cockpit. This is quite a neat idea as you can't really see your mouse when you've got the headset on. And flicking the switches with the controller requires that you move your hand in a similar motion to flicking the switches in real life, which is quite nice. Usually when you fly in small airplanes, you fly the airplane manually, not on autopilot. So it's really nice being able to look around quickly without having to release your hands from any controls. This is a problem which you usually have to deal with if you don't have a VR headset or any head tracking solution, as you have to keep letting go of the controls to put your hands on the mouse, move your mouse around, and then move your camera back to the middle again, and then you can put your hands on the control again. It's quite annoying, and it makes it very easy to lose control over the aircraft. Speaking of flight controls, the controllers can actually make for great flight controls if you don't have a side stick or yoke at home, as x can treat your VR controllers as flight controls. Basically, you just move the controller in the air as if it was a yoke, and it will just behave like one. x also has another feature where you can just move the controller the way you would move a side stick, and it will behave like a side stick instead of a yoke if that's what you prefer. Something else which makes sense but I didn't think about at first is that it doesn't just track where you're looking, but it also tracks if you're going forward or backwards. So if I want to look closer to my instrument panel, I can actually just move closer towards it and it will look like I'm leaning towards the instrument panel. If I want to lean further back, I just lean further back in real life and it does that in the simulator too. I think that's really neat and it really just adds another layer of depth into the simulator. And another fantastic thing about this headset is that not only does it track all of your head's movements, but it also comes with eye tracking, which is really neat. Now there are two things which I would really consider before buying this headset. Firstly, what are your system specifications? You'll need to have a pretty good PC if you want to play VR and flight simulation at the same time as it takes quite a lot of resources. So definitely do some good research if your PC is compatible, but if you do have a pretty good PC, you should have no problems. And another thing to consider is, would you like to use these controllers to actually flick the switches inside the cockpit? Because pressing buttons on your keyboard, which might be binded to certain functions in the game, is quite difficult since you actually don't know what keys you're pressing since your head is covered with the VR headset. So you have to take some time to get used to using the controllers, and if that's not something you'd like to do, then the VR headset might not be for you. Before we come into land, let's quickly change the time to nighttime, because this headset has some pretty cool features when it comes to entering dark environments. Basically, what the headset does is it dims darker areas and it brightens up brighter areas, which makes things look much better. So now let's land this Cesta and then we'll get into a bigger airplane and talk about some other features. So now we're sitting in the Boeing 737 and we'll talk about some of the specifications of this headset. As I previously mentioned, it's the highest resolution consumer headset with a resolution of 2080 by 2080 pixels per eye. It also has a refresh rate of 120 hertz, allowing for extremely smooth gameplay and movements. And lastly, it comes with a software to adjust certain settings and parameters of the headset, which will make things easier for you even if you don't have much experience with VR headsets. 
So I hope this video gave you some useful insight into what it's like to play flight simulators in virtual reality. And of course, many things that I just said in this video carry over to many games and not just flight simulators. So if you buy this headset and you don't just play flight simulators, this will definitely treat you well in other games too. So if you'd like to give VR for a try yourself, you can head down to the description and visit Pimax's website to order a headset for yourself. They can be quite expensive, however, they offer financing plans which allow you to pay smaller amounts every month. And if you'd like to get a nice 20% discount off of the Pimax Crystal, use code LUXPLANES20 at checkout. I'll get a commission on the product, so I'll get the products for cheaper. Please note that the headset in this video was given to me for free to showcase it, however I made sure to share my opinions as unbiased as I can be. If you have any questions about the product, feel free to leave a comment, and also share this video with anyone else who might be interested in a VR headset. Thanks for watching the video, if you enjoyed feel free to leave a like, and also consider subscribing if you'd like to see more content like this in the future.